uh, question I have to ask you, I did a little research about some of your work and you had an interesting experience with Tiger Woods at a at a golfing event here locally. Can you share that? How that went and I can. what precipitated all of that? I can. Um, he was here for, I, you know, I, some championships, I don't even remember what they were now, but uh, and uh, we were down there covering it. It was like the Monday before the tournament started. It wasn't even a practice round. It was literally time for them to just, you know, uh, hit some balls on the driving range and so he was on the driving range several days before the event <laughs> <laughs> but everybody was coming out to see him and uh, where they had the media stage we were literally in front of the crowd so I felt pretty awful like just being in everyone's way because they were trying to get pictures uh, of Tiger Woods and so there was a woman there and she said can you please just take my camera and get a picture for me so I she had this fancy dancy old camera you know not like my cell phone and it made a shutter noise when I took it and so I waited till he was up in his swing because I wanted the perfect shot for her right and so he gets up in his swing and I and he just sat down the club and he turns and he glares at me and you know so I handed the camera back to the woman and I kind of scurried away and then um, you know I thought well I have a story to tell my dad now because my dad loves golfing uh, but uh, yes he was not pleased with me in any way shape or form and then you know that was before all his troubles you know right. uh, came down the pike but um, yeah I th after a little while I, after the nerves wore off I thought you know what get over yourself buddy it's a, not even a <laughs> practice round it's literally on the driving range three days before the event starts so but I understand there's some level of rules and decorum that you have to keep on the golf course, so I learned my lesson. <laughs> Interesting person to get that experiencing, experience from, but obviously a great story that you can yeah. always share. Um, in being involved with the news and, and being a local public face, I assume that you probably get asked a lot to be involved with hosting events and so forth. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you enjoy doing and do you get asked probably so much that you know you kind of have to cut through, okay, what do I have time for and what am I really interested or motivated in? Yeah, you know, I, I, I've had to limit it. I do four events a month now, so 48 events a year, which is still a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I try to say yes to either ones that I am most passionate about first and or people who get to me first, obviously. Um, but there are some organizations that I'm definitely um, tied to. The Arthritis Foundation, I sit on the board of directors for the North Central Chapter. And um, so I do most of their events. We have a, a March in, uh, in March, a Juvenile Arthritis March, because we're trying to get uh, people aware of the fact that kids actually get arthritis too. I know everybody thinks it's grandma's disease, right. uh, but kids do get arthritis and it's horrible and painful and uh, disabling and uh, so that's super close to my heart. Uh, lots of uh, organizations like Hammer and Arc of Minnesota, uh, lots of organizations that deal with people with disabilities um, because I feel like those are people who they need someone to speak up for them, although there are plenty of fantastic self-advocates in the world of disabilities, but uh, those are two areas that I really um, focus on. But uh, you know, I do everything from the um, Mocha walk in the fall to uh, uh, you know a gala for breast cancer in in January. So you know, lots of things. Now you mentioned doing the walk. I remember before in a Twitter view we had done together, you talked about that you run quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Do you have kind of a routine, or is it more or less with your schedule kind of when there's an open slot, okay, I guess I'll run today? Yeah, no, I don't I don't have a... The only time I, I set it up is if I'm training for something, so otherwise I just go out and run when I feel like running, you know, three, four days a week, so... Now, are you a true marathoner, or are you more of a person who does 5Ks to make it a little bit easier on yourself? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have done a marathons in the past. I haven't done one for about 10 years, so it would be my goal to do another marathon. If I could just stop fracturing my hips all, all the time, uh, that would be key to probably running 26.2 miles again. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, also with the news, what kind of stories do you find that people locally are interested in? Obviously, the weather, everybody talks about it because there's so many different types of weather that happen, but what stories do you find people are usually most interested in? You know, I think people are sick of bad news, so I think they love uh, the stories that we tell. I don't know if you've ever seen Boyd Hooper's Land of 10,000 mm -hmm. Stories. Those do really well because they're just usually fantastic stories about everyday people. They're inspiring, they're fun, they're heartfelt. 
Um, and I truly believe it's one of the things that sets us apart from the other stations in town, is that we do take the time to tell those people's stories. Uh, and they're the most fun for me to do as well. I mean, no one likes to cover a murder. I mean, maybe there's somebody out there that likes to cover a murder, but um, I'd rather be doing this just as a story about good people doing good things in our community. And I do think that resonates with people in this, in this particular market. Yeah, I agree. Now, outside of work, and we obviously talked about running, do you have any other hobbies or interests with your time that you enjoy getting involved with, or are you a crafts person at all? <laughs> I'm so not creative or crafty <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. I'm the least talented human you may ever meet. Um, <laughs> I can't play an instrument. Lord knows you don't want me to sing. Um, I, you know, I can barely run without breaking things. So, uh, no, I think my charity work that I do, um, and then my job and my running that are kind of takes up a lot of my time. And if I lived anywhere near my nephews, uh, they would be the most spoiled children on the planet. So, um, they, uh, I love to hear about them and talk to them uh, on a daily basis if possible. Oh, that's nice. 